Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dredge. It's day five and it's evening, uh, but we're gonna go out there. We've caught some very strange fish and we've got a light upgrade. We have this world one gold ring, which I think we can sell on the other island. Um, we've got correct engine operation, 22% complete. Pursuits. We need some lumber and scrap for someone that wants to move away. And we have to go there to, uh, you know, drop it off. Oh, wow. Oh, what the heck is that? This is a big map. How do you... Woo, look at all these places you can go to. I wonder which one is the sunken place. Was it this one, or is that the volcano? I, I can't remember. Anyway, we're gonna go over here where this red glow is at night. And see what we can find there. Dock. Okay. Let's go. Look at that cool uh, thing on the back we have. So every upgrade gives us a visual... Visual thing on our ship. That's pretty cool. I like that. So we've got a big claw on the back. For dredging. So where is... Okay, it's past here. Ooh, there's some fish here. Oh no, it's uh, stuff dredge. No, no, I, I have to press F, not so... Uh... Not W and S. Okay, what do we got? Bolt of cloth. A decent length of cloth. It's damp, but it hasn't started to deteriorate yet. Could be used for vessel renovations. Yeah, that does take... Ouch! That does take a long time. Now uh, we got more bolt of cloth. Okay. Shapes in the deep. What is that? Ooh. What the... Friggin' hell! Hull damaged. Oh, it's it's still behind us. Okay. What the f... What the hell was that? A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. What the hell? And that's damaged now. Disabled. Great. I don't like that. Is it going to be another one of those fish? Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. I don't know get it next to that thing. What is this? So what do I do? What do I do here? I think my panic is going up quite a lot. Wait, it's not here, it's... Ooh. I think that was actually bad, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's get away from that. We're supposed to go here. Ooh. Shapes in the deep. Relic discovered. Antique diary key. Why is that key so huge? Um. Hmm. You can't really put it anywhere good. Jeez, at least it's getting bright again. Yeah, I thought that red thing was the, uh, what we were after. But no. Damn it! to be more careful. Some eels. I'm gonna try doing it like this. <sighs> more eels. See, the problem is, it, it doesn't always start. It doesn't go like this. It sometimes goes through and then starts back here again. Okay, I can't really... 
No. Uh, there's no way. I don't think I can really get another one in there, can I? Uh, no. I can't. Alright, let's go. Let's go back and maybe rest a little bit. We got some more eels, I believe. Yes. Shame we can't get them. Wait a second. Uh, no, that still wouldn't be enough. Uh, oh well. Let's get back. Power! Faster! Well, that's some big fish over there. What is that? We don't know. But we can't catch them yet. Yes. Everyone knows I'm here. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, because of our... Let's see. Equipment broken. Oh. Effectiveness reduced. Ah, I can't really press on it. Okay, I see. I should probably get back. I don't have space for this anyway. What am I doing? Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I oh won't. Get back before these go stale and stinky. Correct engine operation. Excellent. So now we should be a little 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. And engines provide 5% more movement speed than listed. Okay. A preachy and disjointed set of articles on how uh, and how not to operate engines. In general, it was far too overcautious for my thinking. A hefty tome of laborious read. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impact of fishing upon fish stocks. Mentions something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. So let's read this one now. And there's so many things to do. I love this. Ah, it's already too... Fisherman! Have you run uh, into a photographer in your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggest uh, th that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Huh? I don't know how you do it every day. These old bones wouldn't cut it on the high seas. All right, so we get 65. <gasps> No, 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 I, I need squid, not these. Okay, that's fine. So, let's go to the dry dock. Remember, you don't have to have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock. Oh, I don't have anything that they really want. So, I guess this goes to storage. Like so. And this one, I need to bring... An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Ornut key. Is that the one I need to... You can discard it? Uh, I should bring this to the other one. Wow, I've got a lot of damage. Um, I need to bring that... Search for relics. I found a large key. I should return it to the collector. Okay, yeah. So let's keep it here for now. Let's go to the shipwright. Make sure you check out the specs before you buy this stuff. Once it's installed, no returns. Uh, let's fix the damage. Ouch. Oh, wow. We got a lot of money, actually. Oh, you do one at a time. I see. Okay, now operational. Excellent. Shallow, shallow these engines nothing here and cloudy lands crack bulb okay um 
so nothing here. Let's go to this other place. Uh, sell that key. Uh, I mean, sorry, ring. Uh, it's really burning a hole through my hold. It's so big. You know what? Let's do that first. That fish might go stale. Ooh. Oh, nice. Trophy caught. Was it 1.60 meters? Ooh, it's over a meter long. Hello, I bring you a key and a shrubbery. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head. Now Sahab seemed changed, smaller. It's always been this way. Hmm. Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. Isn't it farther? Hmm. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. Oh, I wanted to say, is he a magician or some sort? Sorcerer? A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Ability unlock haste. Ooh, otherworldly speed at a price. Now go. We have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location in your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there any, any in particular you wish to know more about? The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. <sighs> Are there other powers you wish to know about? How long have you lived here? Hmm. Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before, but two decades ago I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? You know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Where should I look for relics? My intuition. Okay, we've seen that. Take a look at these trinkets. Do not bother with me with some common clutter. I hear that the traitor in Little Marrow deals with such trivialities. Okay. Let's get going, then. Haste... Adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Oh. Engine heat. Beware of overheating. Oh, there's the overheating. Okay, uh, so, hold on. Yeah, I cannot really research any of that stuff. Okay. Ooh. Damn it, no! Oh, that's expensive. Ah, oh, these are gone now. Oh, what was that? The, the frick is that? Oh, there we go. That's what I need. That is exactly what I need. There's quite a few of them here. Oh, ugh. brood squid. Ugh. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. Ugh. Uh, no, I didn't want that. 
I wanted lights. Good thing too. What do we get? Lumber. Excellent. I don't think I can get more though. Not really. That's all the lumber I can get for now. Right, what if I... yeah. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Oh well. Uh, so let's leave this as is. Let's go sell that ring over here and then quickly go back. Hopefully stuff doesn't go stale. I really have to be careful about crashing into things. It's expensive. <clears throat> Grieving father. Hello. Is everything okay? Do you not want to have any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere. In one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying its, his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I notice you have some dredging equipment installed in your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's any chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. What do you know about these any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. This is in the color of an important detail for some reason. Begging anyone who would listen, howling into the wind. These days I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? Okay, trading. Welcome! I found anything special lately. Well, this ring. And that's it. Okay. Painter. Ah, the fisherman. I had thought you might stop by. Welcome to my humble studio. I, if you're wanting to experiment with some decorations, yes, I'm the person to talk to. What sort of mm. decorations? I can attach flags and bunting to add some style to your boat. I have a design here already that you li you might like. If you find any others on your travels, bring them back to me, and I can rig them up for you. Of course, I can also add a splash of color to your hull. I'm sorry to say that my selection of pigments is limited at the moment, though. Can I help find more pigments? Hmm. Mm. He thinks for a short while. The other day, down by the shoreline, I saw a strange crab with the most strikingly vibrant coloration. My knees aren't suited to clambering over rocks and chasing crustaceans, you see, but if you caught such a creature... He clears scraps of cloth and paper from his workbench, revealing a large pestle and mortar. With the right binding agent, we can grind them together for a new mixture. He turns back to you, a cunning plan formed, uh, formed in his mind. Fisherman. Bring me some of those strange crabs. We'll turn your vessel into a work of art. But, uh, for now, what can I help you with today? Deliver flag. You don't seem to have any flags with you. Come back when you find some. Have you tried searching to the north of the meadows? Yeah, I'm not going to re uh, remember any of that. Let's see. Which flag do you want to display? Anchor flag, hook flag, fish flag. Oh, so you can... Okay. You don't actually pay anything for it. That's cool. Pirate flag, yeah. What is bunting? I can adjust bunting. Bunting off, oh, bunting. Oh. I wish I could see more. Oh, it's like... Ah. Adjust bunting. What do you do here? Paint boat. Roof. Rusty red. Sharp mint. I don't have the right pigment to make this color. You will need to bring me those crabs. Oh yeah, oh, look at them. Cerebral cap and malignant pincer. Jeez. Hmm. Uh, let's do rusty red. Oh, it actually does take a while, and it's already that uh, color anyway. 
blue dance. Hmm. I think my fish are actually gonna go back. Uh, bad. I should get a. I should get going. Let's see, still reading this. Pursuits. Lost at sea. Map. There we go. Encyclopedia. Wait a second. Bolt of cloth. Couldn't find space for the item. Oh no, this is in the... Okay, there we go. Uh, these are still fresh. So that's good. Not for long, though. Whee! I've got a... Uh, I've got a flag! No fish around here, huh? Nope. Well, there's some. Let's see if we can get a little extra. How are these? Still fresh. Ah, stale. There we go. And it's depleted anyway. Let's get out of here. Before the rest goes. Stale. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks forward uh, towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Uh, who were you expecting? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry. I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Hmm. <sighs> what is it? What's with the fog around here? Nobody knows. It changed recently. It lingers in the mornings now, where before, it didn't seem to have the strength. Even in the midday sun, I feel it. A malice concealed in shadows, waiting for night to sweep the island. She glances up at the lighthouse. If this light should ever falter, then gods help us. What do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That's... He's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some night I still think I can hear the hum of his engines sailing past the bay, but I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh, let's sell the fish. Yes, I do, actually. Blip, 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 blip. Wraps up the fish. 97, nice. I don't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. Mm, excellent. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwright. It's quite big, but... Deploy a crab pot. Don't forget where you put it. <laughs> That's not for me, then. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab, but both species can be found around here. Haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. Um, so this one is stale, unfortunately. This one also stale. No. These are fresh. There we go. Um, so I wonder. Okay. Looks like some of your equipment could use some fixing. We can repair that here. There we go. And she's got nothing else. Oh, she does, actually. Whoa. That's a lot more. But we don't actually have the space for this. Halogen spotlight. Um, wait. Refund. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. How about... Uh, okay. Okay. I thought I just lost a lot of money, but no, you get a full refund if you don't install it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I cannot actually put it there. Repair all. What do you mean? What's what's broken? Oh, this one lasts for two days. Is that what I have to repair? Let's see. Ah, three days, yep. A simple crab pot can be deployed out at sea. So where do I deploy it? Just anywhere at all? Can I just drop it here? Select the crab pot ability with E and deploy one with... Uh, they catch things over time but need repairing every so often. 
which passively catch crabs over time. So, oh, it, it even tells you. There we go. Even tells you where crabs will be plentiful and so on. That's cool. Now let's try to get some nice stuff. No, fish are going away. Uh, I can't catch those big ones yet, unfortunately. These are the mackerels, right? Depleted. And that one, I can't do anything about. Uh, oceanic. There's some dredging stuff there. Oh, little scrap. More metal scrap, and then more fish. It's a lovely, lovely day. Oh, look at them! Oh, that's so cool. Huh? Three-headed cod. Ugh. Three heads writhe and struggle in unison. Three mouths hand agape, then close shut together. Three lives lived as one. One fate, uh, fate bound to many. Uh, I can't really catch another one. Unless... No. I can't. There's no space. I could discard one of these, I suppose. Let's, uh, discard one of these. That's cool that you can keep it here and then decide, you know, what you want to do. Uh, I could get another one. Bye, fish. Right. Let's get back. Deliver, deliver these fresh fish. <laughs> okay, let's also go back for this. What do I have now here? 93% on the rods. Excellent. Pursuits. Okay. So what happens if I check the pot now? Oh. I see. Three days remaining. Take all pick up. Oh, yeah, I... Okay. I can still dock. Uh-oh. No, I can't. Okay, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, so I can't... Ah. <laughs> no! Oh no. Okay. Well, discard. Ah. Okay, pick up. There we go. Well, that sucks. If you're ever hunting for a specific species, just check your encyclopedia. Alright. Boom. Boom and boom, and this one for 58. Nice. Alright. You can sell it here as well. Oh, he's got a lot more pots now. I think I'm gonna buy those. So let's repair all first. Let's repair the pots. And then to storage, right? Let's see, dry dock. Yes, yes, you've said that before. Oh, you have to have it with you, actually. Look at this. Modifies one cargo space to also hold lights. So I could get the bigger ones, but I don't have the lumber. Um, two cargo space to also hold engines. Modifies four rod spaces to also hold nets. Huh. 
And uh, this one I also cannot do, two rod spaces. I need more uh, inventory space, not less. Uh, right, so I wanted to buy more of these. Whoa, there are hundreds. It's going to be an investment. All right. And let's put the pots everywhere we can. Plenty. I don't know if it matters where you put them. All right. Got some more fish. Okay. Let's go over there. Stay here, fish. Don't go away yet. Uh, oh, it's depleted already. Let's get those as well. There's the big boys. There's the groupers. Uh. Lovely. Deplete a total of 25 fishing spots. <laughs> Careless harvesting. Alright. Let's get back then. Oh, look! It shows you where the, the fishing, uh, the crab pots are. That's cool. That's nice. Can you actually drive over them or is that going to be a crash? No, you can just go over them. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'm super enjoying this. This is really awesome. I love this game so far. So, a big thank you to Dr. Loco and a big thank you to all my Patreons for your support. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.